So today, let's talk about the insecurities of an EAD and green card holder. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm an Indian Chartered Accountant living and working in the US for the last 13 years. I came to the US in 2011 on a work permit and only last year did I get my green card. After staying on the visa status for 12 years and visa free for the last two, I can speak to my experiences on both sides. My immigration journey started in 2011. After 10 years on the visa, I got my EAD or Employment Authorization document in 2021 and last year in 2022, I got my green card. In my previous video, I covered the difficulties and insecurities I face as an immigrant on a work permit. This video is a follow-up where I discuss my insecurities on the EAD and currently on a green card. Before talking about the insecurities, let's talk about what is an EAD and the differences it has to the green card. An EAD or Employment Authorization document is a status that removes all work-related restrictions such as sponsorship and visa transfer. This is typically issued to dependents of the primary visa holder and to people who are close to getting the green card. Once you get your EAD, you can start your own company, work for yourself, or even generate passive income on the side. The main difference between an EAD and a green card is that an employment authorization only allows you to work in the US during the period listed on your card, which is typically between one to two years. It does not allow you to travel freely internationally or live permanently in the US. A green card gives you these rights. And this is where my main insecurity came from. In 2021, I got my EAD card and I was super happy. However, both my employer's legal department and my lawyers warned me against using my EAD card for employment purposes. The reason is that the EAD status is not permanent. Your EAD card can be revoked anytime. If you're traveling back from a different country, the US Customs and Border Patrol has the power to reject your entry on an EAD status, which leaves you with no option but to go back to your home country. Having a dual status of a visa and an EAD will allow you to mitigate this risk by using the visa as your main status for all travel and work-related requirements. So after 11 years in this country on a work permit and finally reaching the EAD status, I was still stuck with the limitations of the work permit and could not use my EAD status freely. However, I did end up breaching this rule. I found a job in a company I liked, but they were not willing to transfer my visa. I ended up rejecting the sponsorship option and used my EAD status, which allowed me to change jobs freely. This was against the opinion of my lawyer. The downside was that my visa status was permanently revoked and had anything gone wrong with my EAD renewal, I had to leave the country with no chances of readmission. This was a big leap I took, which ultimately worked in my favor as I got my green card the next year, but that one year I refrained from any travel even to neighboring countries. Now let's talk about the insecurities on a green card. Now I'm going to get a lot of hate on this as a getting a green card is considered to be the ultimate goal in your visa journey. Every single visa holder dreams about the day they will no longer have to worry about the existence in this country. I was fortunate enough to have my visa journey end last year when I got my green card after 12 years. While a green card provides you all the freedom that a US citizen has, there are still two major hurdles you need to be aware of. One, the green card does not give you the same rights as a citizen. One of the major differences is in international travel. A US national can visit 148 different countries without a visa. But as a green card holder, you still have to get visas for all those countries that an Indian passport holder requires. Two, you cannot stay abroad for an extended period of time. I was recently offered a job in Germany for two years to my current employer. Now, I had to deny it because as a green card holder, you have to be present in this country for more than 180 days or your status is automatically cancelled. For an immigrant who has waited years and decades for this card, this is like a death sentence. <laughs> so there you have it, the limitations of an immigrant on an EAD status and a green card. I want to emphasize that this video was only made for informational purposes only and none of this is legal advice. The US continues to be a top destination for immigration. With the 15% immigrant population, the country is often referred to as a nation of immigrants with policies and social structures that provide avenues for legal immigration and path to citizenship. I would like to end this video on this note. The journey of an immigrant reflects the essence of the American dream, a pursuit of opportunities, growth and a better life. Despite the challenges and the fear of adversity, immigrants have gone to achieve remarkable success in this country, contributing not only on their own growth but also to the community and economy. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. If you have found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be able to relate to these experiences. Please subscribe to our channel for more educational and life-based content. Please let us know in the comments for any topic that you would want us to cover. Thank you.